Welcome everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, all the dramatic thing and this is it. <laughs> you know, uh, this is my little Heltec V3. Um, I'm just messing around. This, you know, isn't that serious. It's just a little tower that I built. Um, this little Heltec V3 tower. And uh, all it is, it's uh, three Heltecs um, in here. Um, and they, uh, but they're all on uh, different frequencies. You'll see that this one's on 910.525. This one's actually a mesh core. The top one is running mesh core. This one's on a private frequency, 908.375. And then the bottom one's the standard meshtastic 906.875, which is the, the US meshtastic uh, standard. So um, all it is is just a, my 3D printing isn't great, but there's just a, three of these behind there. Um, and with its uh, reset and um, function button, three little antennas coming out. At the back, I've got uh, USB power going in. Then I have a little uh, power distribution board in there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't really want to unplug it now, but there's a little power distribution board. Oops, that, um, oh, there we go. That uh, then uh, provides power to all three. And that's really all it is. So it's a little server farm like this um, that uh, I run. So if we look at the bottom one, this one's actually configured to run, uh, uh, like I said, it's on 906.875. That's the default meshtastic uh, that I'm running on there. So um, since I have a solar node on the roof, um, you know, this one talks to the solar node on the roof that talks to others. And where I use that one, is um, really um, in my, um, I use it for mesh sense. And if you look at the computer, you can see this is it. This is that bottom one I'm connecting to it at the moment via US, uh, no, I'm, I'm Bluetooth to it. And here we can see, you know, I uh, actually use it to collect um, nodes from this area. And I can talk to them and, and things like that. So it's talking to nodes in this area, draws the little lines, and I use mesh sense for that. And, uh, you know, if I wanted to, uh, you know, ping, let's, uh, something like, there's my Wiz Solar, the one on the roof. If I wanted to trace route to that, we can see, there it goes, and we can see that it answers me. I can do things like that, but if you know mesh sense, what it does is, um, you know, it will... Uh, keep pinging these uh, known nodes that I picked up and if it can connect to them it draws these lines like there I just lost connection to that 36 DC um, so um, I know I can no longer see it but uh, so this keeps a, a list and you know if, if, if there's more nodes that come into the area I can pick them up using mesh sense and then mesh sense of course sends all of that data to uh, their public map, you know, and this is this uh, map over here, and here you can see the whole world, how it's all connected. You know, um, there's, there's a lot of uh, nodes around. And it's not just here, of course, it's, it's all international. We can see nodes from all over the world. But it's doing the same thing with mesh sense. Um, I'm over here in St. Petersburg. We can see there's my little node and my uh, solar, so we can see um, this node, the one at the bottom, is talking to VLZ, which is my solar node. And my solar node is the one that's actually connecting to all these other nodes. Um, so, and I use, like I say, mesh sense to do that. So that's the function of the bottom one. And, you know, if I do get messages, um, I can send out messages and talk to people from here. Pretty cool. So that's the bottom one. The one at the top is actually a mesh core. So as things go with mesh core, I set it up as a room server. So in mesh core, if uh, I go to, um, let me go to mesh core, and I'm going to um, go into the web flasher, and I'm going to go into repeater setup. And let me drag that over here. We can see there's my uh, repeater setup. 
and I'm going to connect and let me plug a uh, serial cable into it. So I'm going to plug a USB cable into the mesh core node at the top and we can see it appear over here and I'm going to connect to it and there it is. It's a room server. We can see it just syncs its time. We can, uh, you know, here's my location where I put it on the mesh core map. So I put the location over here um, and um, I can send the advert. Um, so, and this is the frequency 910.525. Um, that's the, the frequency I'm using. That's the one at the top there, 910.525. So, and that's one of these antennas. And so um, that guy is a room server. And what that means is if somebody comes past here, they see my server, they can leave me a message. I don't have to be connected. Later, when I uh, start my mesh core, I can read all the messages people left for me. So that's uh, the top one, the mesh core room server. So outside, again, I've got a mesh core router or repeater, it's called a mesh core and uh, people can talk to my room server and leave messages. And then uh, the one in the middle is a private network. Now you can see it's on a, a, a network at the moment. It's actually configured 192.168, so it's also connected to Wi-Fi. But um, I am going to connect that serially as well. And that I use that, and if we look at the computer again, I can go into the web client and uh, this one's connected via serial and that is that node the one in the middle is the one that I use my private uh, uh, network for so in my private network I have sensors and we can see here there's water sensor node zero um, at the moment that's at 4.8 feet and uh, the little CPU inside at 25 degrees Celsius so I push data from sensors into this one in the middle. And then uh, that one, of course, uh, uh, pushes it out to MQTT and, and I can put it in Home Assistant. But those sensors look something like this, and uh, this is a little bit big, but um, here you can see the actual, oh, there's the, the ultrasonic sensor, and it's got little solar panels on there to keep it charged. But these, uh, um, I have a few of these sensors, and I'll make a video about that later. Uh, uh, some of these sensors out there that actually uh, report data. So this is just one that, that I have in the house here. Uh, um, you know, I'm working on it. But they all report um, every five or six minutes. They report into um, this node over here, the one in the middle. And... Uh, then, uh, you know, yeah, you can see the data. So I have a repeater outside and I have two nodes, water sensor nodes, and we can see the distance 4.8, 5.1, 4.7, 4.9. As the water level rises and falls, um, it reports to you. And I, again, that I then push into MQTT and push it into Home Assistant or, or some other software. So, um, you know, uh, um, so this is a private network. And it only has, um, you know, it has Heltec uh, t 114s in there, and um, it uh, it pushes uh, these messages, um, and um, I turn that into data. So I'll make a video about those sensors at some point uh, on my private network. But what it means is then in this one little ho housing, I've got Mesh Core, I've got my private network, and I've got MeshTastic each on its own frequency and its own little antenna talking to repeaters, uh, you know, a mesh core repeater, a uh, private network repeater or router repeater. And there you can actually see uh, one of the nodes is reported at five feet and 27 C. And then um, also at the bottom uh, um, is the one that I use um, our uh, mesh sense for to uh, find nodes. Ah, it's re-established connection to that one. So that's uh, my little update for the week. I wanted to just show you uh, what I'm busy with. I'll try and make separate videos for these in the future. Um, you know, I've just been busy building these sensors and 
building this little thing, uh, my little server farm over here. <laughs> um, and um, so that's my uh, just a little update for the week. If you've got any questions, please please ask, and um, I'll be uh, um, you know uh, uh, continuing my work uh, in the next week or so. I'll make more specialized videos about each. One video that I will make is showing you how you can bridge these two mesh tastic networks, how you can bridge them using um, uh, uh, the new UDP function inside of uh, mesh sense. Ah, uh, me uh, mesh tastic. Sorry, how I can uh, uh, bridge these two networks using mesh tastic. So we can see that messages keep coming in from the sensors over there. We can see there they are. Um, the other one is, um, uh, um, of course, the mesh, mesh core. So, yep, that's my little update for the week. Um, look out for more videos in the future. I'm sorry this isn't a super comprehensive video. It's just showing you this cool little thing uh, where I've just consolidated all my, my mesh stuff into one little server. So, uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll speak again soon.